Hello and welcome to another webinar hosted by the Advanced Technical Account Management Team. My name is Mansoor Eljalad and with me is John White. We're from the Advanced Technical Account Management Team. In this webinar, we will be focusing on the Smart One Cloud Security Management product. We will provide an overview of the cloud security management, highlight the key benefits of the security management as a service offered by Checkpoint. <clears throat> we'll also be showing you a demo on how to set up an account in Smart One Cloud, deploy a new management service, deploy a gateway, migrate on on-prem security management server to Smart One Cloud. For questions and answers during the webinar, we have a panel consisting of professional services leads, ATM consultants and managers as well who can address your questions live. So please post your questions in the QA, in the Q&A window uh, of the Zoom session. If for some reason your questions are not answered or the questions require more research from our end, we encourage you to email us at atam at checkpoint.com and we will make sure to address your questions properly. If you have any questions regarding the advanced technical account management team uh, or the services we offer and how you can add the ATAM service as an extension to your support contract, please email us there as well. Again, the email is atam at checkpoint.com. So without further delay, let's get started. Take it away, John. Welcome everybody um, for, for joining this uh, Quantum Smart One Cloud webinar. My name is John White and uh, I'm an advanced technical account manager here at Checkpoint Software. And today our goal here is uh, this webinar is just for those who are interested in learning more about that the smart one, the quantum smart one cloud product. And today we'll take a quick overview look at the product. And by the end of the session, you should know how to set up your account, deploy gateway, establish secure internal communications to this gateway. I'll show you how to delete a gateway, license that gateway, migrate a smart center server to the smart one cloud. And if time permits, I'll go over some of the licensing details and best practices and frequent ask questions. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so now let's imagine a future where you never have to worry about upgrading your management server. You really never have to worry about maintenance. Your, your company grows. Imagine having an ability to quickly expand on demand. And in addition, an incredibly flexible access to your smart console even via a web browser on multiple platforms, such as, such as a tablet or a Mac PC or something to that effect. Well, there's no need to wait anymore because the future is actually here today. The best security management is now available from the cloud. Welcome to the future of cybersecurity and welcome to the infinity portal. So let's go ahead and uh, show you this. So the infinity portal, is right here. This is the infinity portal. Hopefully everybody can see this. This is our new web-based management platform for hosting a, a wide variety of all checkpoint SaaS services now including Quantum One um, Smart One uh, Cloud. A typical use case is a company looking to increase operational efficiency and lower the complexity of their security management platform. With the Smart One Cloud application, companies can focus, on focus and invest more effort in managing their security tasks, such as maintenance, maintenance efforts, keeping up to date with the latest software version and security updates, running backups, health checks, status checks, all do require quality effort and time. Also, as companies expand, you need to align your security solutions correctly, which may need new hardware and migration process. A transfer of these and other IT management tasks to Smart One Cloud applications significantly can improve a company's security management and ability to focus on what is really important, and that is your business. The deployment process of a new security management server in Smart One Cloud takes around a minute or two, not long at all. 
After deployment is complete, you receive a new management with the latest version ready to connect gateways. An existing customer can choose to migrate their on-premise environment to Smart Run Cloud. After the migration, you can continue to work from the exact same point that you stopped working before the migration. Now, here are some key benefits of the Smart One Cloud. So let's take a quick look at that. Always up to date with the latest security management with the newest features automatically in a unified management platform. On demand, on demand expansion. This allows you to seamlessly expand the capacity supporting additional gateways and storage. Zero maintenance, no need for monitoring or backing up operations in your security management system. Getting started is easy with just a few clicks and a few, one or two minutes. And there you go, you have a new smart one cloud with all of the of our R80, now R81 functionality up and running. Flexible access. The best part, in my opinion, is now running in the web browser, the, the smart consoles in the browser. It makes things a lot easier. What's awesome is it has the full smart console rich functionality that we all know and love. There's really no need to install the Windows client anymore, but you know, if you really like the console, you can, you can still use it. It is available using the Infinity Connect. We don't really need to learn no real new, we, we, you don't have to learn any new tricks. It's still the same best in the industry smart console using just a new and advanced communication method. Essentially, it's just an HTTPS tunnel created with a unique authentication key, which allows smart console to communicate to the management server and the management server to the gateway. We can easily create a gateway object via the portal and it will automatically create, be created on the management and it will appear within smart console. And at that point, all you need to do is a separate sick and in the minutes you're done. Okay, and so now the key reason for that is, uh, you know, once I've, the simplicity of this, now you can focus on managing your organization security, focus on analyzing your log events or whatever on a tablet, on the go, simple. No need to worry about upgrading or, or, or maintenance of your management environment. Smart One Cloud, it's where the best security management meets the cloud. So let's go ahead and get into this, um, this demo we can take a quick look at the uh the account activation process pretty simple i mean it's uh, just a matter of going to the portal.checkpoint.com and if you don't have account you reg you click the register here everybody knows how to register accounts pretty much as subscribe Accept the terms and conditions. Don't forget a phone number, and you need to use a uh, a real email account, not not like Gmail or Hotmail or something like that. Get an email. You have to activate it. Just go to your email, click activate. There you go. Put in, of course, password using a good password. Follow a password policy. It should be good. And there you go. You have an account that's created. It takes seconds to get one created. Once you have it created, you can immediately log in go into the portal, click Smart One Cloud, and then you have to accept the terms and conditions, try now, and then get started. As soon as you click get started, you can put in a nice service identifier. This is your tenant ID. Make sure it's a nice unique ID. If you wanna do manage websites, uh, uh, gateways on the uh, cloud, you click that little check mark there, there, but we are gonna do it in the, um, we're gonna do this in uh, uh, on-premise gateway. And it doesn't take very long. This just, um, um, it can vary depending on uh, your, your connection to the internet. But uh, overall, this part only takes around maybe a minute or two, not even. And once you're in here, you can click on Open Smart Console. Right away, as soon as you're done accessing it, uh, it, will, it should pop up a new tab and launch the Smart Console in the cloud. Uh, technically, if you close your smart your your, your uh, web browser and you reopen it again, it will most of the time bring you back to the exact same spot where you left off at. And there you go. That is done. You have a 
R8110, the smart console in your browser. So that demo is done. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at deploying a gateway. The deploying a gateway is pretty straightforward. Um, we have to do this through the, we, we, need to, to, we need to do this through the portal. You really need to download the new smart console. This is the link in there because it has a special cloud option for the Infinity login. This connection token is required. You copy that or click the little icon beside it. Select cloud from the drop down list. Paste your key in here. And there we go. It'll log in. Okay. Once this is uh, here, you'll notice there's nothing in there. It's, it's completely blank, but we're going to go inside, click on Connect Gateway, press a little plus sign, give your gateway a name, click on Register. It'll create the object not only in the portal, but this is actually synchronizing, and there's some API commands that sending the command to the gateway management server. There we go. It created the gateway object. Now we just need to establish a VPN tunnel between the management server and the gateway itself. So do that, click on Clinic Gateway, choose what version your gateway has. Currently, we only have RD1 at this point, but we will have RD110 um, in, in a, very shortly. Copy the connect key. And then oh, bring this guy over here and paste that one in. Actually, nope, that's wrong. That's expert mode. You need to do this in Clish. Clish. Great. It will tell you at the bottom when it's connected. It just takes a few seconds. There you go, connection successfully. But you can validate that by going into expert mode. Exit, uh, not show. We need to type mass status. And there you go, enabled state is up. When that is done, it will update on the portal. It just takes a few seconds here. It'll ask you to establish SIC. There it is, pending SIC establishment. So we can gen just simply pop back over to your smart console, edit the gateway object. Great, communication. Paste your password. To get your password, uh, the, the one-time token, you need to go into the gateway itself and type cpconfig, and you got to choose option number five and just go through the process of setting your gateways um, one-time token and just put it in here, press initialize. And uh, it takes a few seconds, but it's uh, once that's done, it'll allow you to press OK. You'll get a um, topology page here in a second. It's uh, waiting. All right, getting information. Great. And just close it out and press OK. Once you press OK, of course, you need to publish your changes. <clears throat> and again, that takes a few seconds. Once that is done, you'll notice at the top here, it's not going to show you the stash is green quite yet because we didn't push policy. There's like an initial policy on there right now. So wait until the portal um, shows green as well. And then we're going to go ahead and push policy, see if everything's good. There we go. That registration is complete. That's all automated, by the way. Right now we see status icon showing that uh, there's a problem, but it's actually licensing because there's an eval license here. It hasn't been activated. It can't activate. Uh, at the moment, uh, we got to push policy. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do that. This is generic, just a basic policy in this demo, just an, any, any accept. Here we go. Policy install is going. Oh, 
Okay, let's click on details here, see what's going on, see how long it takes. Installation is in progress. Succeeded. There we go, and close that up. And we're gonna go check the status here in a moment, but we're gonna add an eval license to go to website um, and try our products. We're gonna get the mass portal IP. To get that IP, you just go into, you can do either install database or go to manage license and packages, and you'll see the mass IP. This is the management server IP, the VPN tunnel you used. So in this case, it's 164.052, licensing contracts tab. We're just gonna copy, no, actually gonna write that one down, 64.052. One hundred sixty-four zero fifty-two, and checkpoints done. And we're gonna get a um, a license. We're gonna add this license manually because um, you can't upload files yet. But uh, let's do that. Show license. And we just need to copy the not that one. The CP the CP lick process part. Just copy the whole thing without the quotes. And there we go. In Smart Update, uh, we just go ahead and we add new uh, license and contract. Click the menu at the upper left-hand side. Go to Add License. Go down to Manually. And just simply click Paste. And there's a validation. You can click Calculate and verify the code if you want to. At the bottom, it'll tell you that it's attached successfully because it automatically connects to the IP. Do the same thing to the uh, to the gateway. Same process, except after we're done adding this license, it won't automatically attach. You will need to manually attach it to your gateway. Paste the license, give it a name. I typically like to give my license its name so that it's easier for me to find when I'm searching for it for on the gateway side of the fence. S1C demo gateway. And you can calculate if you want to validate. And there we go, it's in the repository. So now we just right click the gateway, choose attach license. And as you can see, the name of it is there. It's easy to find, click on attach. And done. So once that is done, we should be good. We're gonna give this a push. Uh, actually, no, actually we're, no, it's gonna be, that should be fine. It's okay and done. Everybody's happy. Perfect, and that's how you do it. That's how you add a, a gateway to the Smart One Cloud. In the end, um, if for some reason you want to um, remove or delete this gateway, it's at just as easy as adding the gateway. Simply log into the portal and underneath the connect gateway section, there's a three dots, just choose remove. It'll warn you, hey, it's not going to take it off of the actual management server. It's just going to remove it from the portal. So in order to actually remove it from the gateway itself, you'll need to log into the um, smart console. Let's do the web console here while we have it. Quick and easy. Great, and once this is done, all we have to do, just simply go over to the uh, gateway object itself, pretty much, and just right click on it and choose delete. Now, if you have this integrated inside your policy or in a NAT rule or something like that, you'll obviously, if you're gonna remove a gateway, you're gonna have to do where used and find where it's at. Oh, where's it at? Oh, oh there it is, it was, it was hiding on me. Let's go back to gateways. But yeah, you do where you use, remove it from all those locations. And then at that point, you can right click on the gateway and choose delete. Once you choose delete, you have to, of course, push policy install database to all of your log servers and whatnot, and it should be, should be gone everywhere. Awesome. And that is that. Deleting the gateway, simple, took like less than a minute or two, and you're done. Now that we're done um, deleting a gateway, I wanted to show you one of the more um, valuable parts. Uh, this is uh, 
how you can quickly and easily move your smart center server, whatever version you have, I believe uh, already 20 and higher. Um, it's, it's pretty simple to move. All you have to do is lock into the portal. And uh, so let, before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing here. This is an R81 smart center server. It's not good, available on multi-domain management yet, but uh, we'll, we'll, in the future someday, let's just log into this simple smart center server. I created a very simple policy in here, um, not many objects, but uh, just, just for simplicity, but you could do a pretty large environment if you if you choose to do so. I think up to five gateways. Um, but anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead. There's a simple policy. We got I think around 19 objects here. And yeah, 19 objects. And we go to migrate. Once you get to migrate, you just simply download the script. Very simple uh, process. Once you get the script downloaded, you just got to upload it to the Smart Center server that you want to get the export from. Doesn't really matter where you put the script. Let's give it a second here. Okay. Great, so now we are going to change the permissions of that script. Copy that, paste it in here, and then we just simply run the script. Again, this script it will, it will vary depending on how big your database is and whatnot. Um, it usually doesn't take too long to create the actual file itself. There you go. But when this when the file is done, you just copy it across uh, to your PC, and then choose to upload that file, and uh, it, it will automatically start the migration process in the background. Um, it does take a bit of time for the migration process to complete uh it's not it's not as fast as uh as uh setting it up because uh it's it's uh yeah it's a pretty pretty intense it takes a it's got a lot of work to do usually it has to put a lot of scripts to run in the background so it can take for mine it took um around uh 20 minutes i think it was for me but uh, I would I would expect it to take probably an hour or 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 two. Oh, here we go. The, the, once you're done, um, it'll tell you how things are doing in regards to the migration, if it was successful or not. There's like a little report here. There we go. It says data export was successful. Okay. Now this is blank. We're going to show you. We're going to upload the file that we just, oh, I didn't download it. Let's download that. Okay. Choose the file. It's an encrypted file. Okay, done. And there we go. The migration process has started. This is gonna pretty much blow away the entire smart one cloud and restore it with that that backup file that it's going to be pretty much like a clone of that smart center server so whatever was there before is is gone it's not going to like merge it or anything and it'll give you an email after a while when it's successful and that there you go there's the email once you're done doing that you can log into the smart console and you should start seeing all of your objects and all of your gateways and your rule base and whatnot uh, as you can see, um, we had that simple policy with just a simple gateway. You'll notice that the management object doesn't exist anymore. There's a gateway. And there you go. There's your simple policy, still 19 objects. But if you go back to the gateway object, let's look at the IP. The IP is uh, 172. This is not what you want. You actually have to uh, attach that to the portal. So we go to the infinity portal, connect gateway. 
Now, before we had, when we clicked on add, it, we had to type it in. But in this case, we're just going to select the gateway you want to add from the list. This is existing gateway, select from the list, click register, and it'll change the IP to, uh, to a 100, 100 subnet. And there we go. Let's wait for it to go. It'll change pretty much on its own. And there we go, 100, 100, 3.26, done. And now we just simply go through the exact same process as if we were adding a, uh, like a blank, uh, like a new gateway like we did earlier. Wait for connection, change the version to whatever version that you have on that gateway, copy the connect key. Again, log into the gateway itself, go to Clish this time and paste it, enter. And again, it should say connected. Once connected, you can test to see if the tunnel is up, even though it says successful, just verify. Just go and type here, mass support status. And there you go, enabled and up. So that gateway is ready to go. We now will need to establish secure internal communication to this gateway in order for us to have the ability to push policy. Let's wait for this. Okay, so it says ready to establish SIC, good. Let's go inside. Great, there you go, IP is good, communication. And uh, I put a simple password here for mine as from earlier. So you, do, you know how to set reset sick, I showed that earlier. Initialize, you'd have to reset sick, go to CP config just like before and just choose to reset sick on that gateway. Topology page will come up. Just say close and click on okay. You will again need to publish your changes, install database to all of your management, your, your, your log servers and whatnot, and uh, push policy. There we go. Let's quickly push policy here. And pretty straightforward. And all of this is being done through the, I just want to highlight that this is all being done through the web browser, by the way. There we go, almost done. And you can see how quick it took. It didn't really take all that long to create the export file, upload the export file, download the export file. And there we, go. we got some logs here too. Let's just double check. Just want to see if the logging is working here. The last hour. And well, there we go. The logs are good. Everything seems to be up to par here with the logs as well. And that's that. That's how you do a uh, an import. Now, when it comes to ordering the Smart One Cloud uh, solution, um, the best thing to do is to talk to your account manager uh, or your sales engineer, and uh, they'll go through all of the uh, the options that are for you. In general, uh, we have uh, it's divided into a few. Uh, a few categories, whether or not it all depends <clears throat> if you like need a management server uh, alone, stand like without anything. If you want management with Smart Event, do you want do you want uh, management server with Smart Event and the compliance uh, added to it? Also known as the the Smart One Cloud Plus option. Um, it's divided into like how much logs you actually need. Um, like, do you want to? How, how, what's your log retention? How many gateways? Because we have, uh, a, we have, you can manage up to five, five gateways as well. And if you if you run it, if, if you want to extend this even further, you can uh, add like uh, we have add-ons too. You can add more uh, storage uh, for 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 your logs for periods of time. And also just wanted to point out too that we do have uh, SKUs, <laughs> even one month SKU. So if you just want to test this out for like a POC or whatever, you can just uh, you can just grab a one month SKU and test it out and let figure it out. By the way, the, the, the demo is like, I think it's like, uh, it, it'll give you at least a 14 day, uh, like a 30 day trial. Um, there you go, and that's it. That's uh, that's that's the uh, that's the demo. Um, if you want to request a demo from somebody like us, we we have this uh, little page here where you where you click. Uh, it's the uh, 
uh, checkpoint.com quantum um, smart one cloud page just uh, search on our support website for smart one cloud and uh, or google it smart one checkpoint smart one cloud and there's this page will appear um, pretty much everything that you saw today in this uh, demonstration this webinar it's actually um, inside the smart one cloud security management data sheet um, all, all of this information, including the licensing stuff, if you just search for Smart One Cloud data, you will get all this information. And I'll pull that one up actually right now if I have it in front of me. Usually I have that in front of me, but let me just pull it up. Yeah, I do have it. Okay. This is the Smart One Cloud data sheet that I was talking to you about. And pretty much, again, everything that you see here is on this in, in, in this sheet and you can including the licensing at the bottom um also the other page that i want to point out is the uh the the uh, the admin guide so if you search for quantum smart one cloud administration guide very valuable has all the steps to take to get from point a to point b troubleshooting steps um, best practices and frequently asked questions like, for example, you know, you know, example, I purchased a smart one cloud license, how do I apply it? And what visibility do I have? And the answer is congratulations, you've decided to join smart one cloud and purchase a license to help you our team will reach out to to your sales representative to get all the necessary information and then just click on this link and provide some information to these people and they will guide you to how to how to do everything so today we learned how to set up uh, how to create your account we went through the first time setup of the smart one cloud itself we deployed a gateway assigned some licenses delete a gateway and we make, migrated a smart center server all within like 30 minutes it was pretty pretty quick as you can see very valuable product in the end, that is Quantum Smart One Cloud. And I do thank everybody for participating today. If you need anything, any more information about that, kindly speak to, kindly send an email to our ATEM team, ATEM at checkpoint.com. And again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, John. This is a, this was an excellent webinar. Um, thank you for taking the time to join today's. Nope. I hope you found this session informative and useful. Uh, please note that we will post the recording of this webinar on Checkmate and YouTube. We are planning a couple of more webinars like this before the end of the year, so please stay tuned. Uh, if you're looking for assistance and consultation with setting up a new Smart One Cloud management service, or you would like us to migrate your on-prem management server to a Smart One Cloud, uh, please uh, email us at atam at checkpoint.com. If you're already an ATAM customer, please reach out to your designated ATAM consultant. Uh, again, if you have any feedback about this webinar, uh, we appreciate any feedback, or if you have any questions about the ATAM service and how to leverage ATAM and how to include it as an extension uh, to your support contact, uh, contract, do not hesitate to uh, contact us at atam at checkpoint.com or you can speak to your account manager. Um, so uh, thank you again and we'll end the recording. We'll end the session. Thank you. Thanks, Manny.